Welcome. Welcome. This is Never Have I Ever Art Teacher Edition. With the Sierra High Art Teachers. This is a, we are, we are the yeah. hosts. I'm Amy. I'm Eliza. Our, our contestants are Caitlin Petrinos and Mrs. Eatington. <laughs> Um, all right. Mrs. Eatington will explain the rules. All right, so I had my students come up with all the questions for this one, and we put them in this hat. So Amy and Eliza are going to, one by one, pick questions out of the hat and read it to us. And if we have ever experienced it, we're going to hold up the I have. And if we've never experienced it, I have never. All right, so here's the basket, and here we go. I will be drawing the first question, and the first question is, never have I ever had a student sabotage another student's project. Uh, unfortunately, I have. So it doesn't happen very often. I spend a lot of time in my classes trying really hard to make sure that everybody feels uh, like they can have a safe, creative environment, and knowing your project's not going to get broken is one of those. But it always oh, it makes me so sad when that happens. And it did just happen last term, actually. Um, but it hasn't happened in a really long time before that. So hopefully it won't happen for a really long time again. Hopefully not. Yeah. I haven't had it happen since I was teaching ceramics. So it could be a first-year teacher thing. Could also be it's breakable and yeah. people want to yeah. do stuff. Yeah. That's horrible. Why would someone do that? Exactly. Who, who would do that? That's just rude, and instead of breaking other people's project, focus on your own project. That sounds like a good idea to me. And I will be drawing the next question. Okay, here next it is. Next question. Never have I ever graded a student's assignment based on whose it is. Mm. So, I have. So, here's the thing, though. You want me to do that. Because I've had, I get a very wide range of students in my class, and I've had students who are blind. I've had students who are artistic, not artistic, autistic. I mean, I've also had artistic students too. <coughs> um, but if I have a student who's a blind student, their level of work is not going to be the same as somebody who can fully you know, experience the demo and stuff. So, you know, as long as they're trying and they're doing to the best of their ability, I'm going to grade them based on the best of their ability. My answer is really the same. So I think it's just important to like modify projects a little bit for certain students. So yeah. it does depend on the student a little bit when it comes to how you grade. Yeah. Yeah. For okay. That sounds, sounds a great. Grade. That I, I agree with that. Next question. I will be drawing the next question. Which is, never have I ever fallen asleep in class? Never. I have never. I couldn't even if I tried. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> There's been some days when I've been so tired and like during my prep, I'm like, oh, I just, I just want to, no, it, it doesn't work. It's, no. no. I can't Especially do it. a room full of students, absolutely not. Oh yeah, if there's a room full of students, oh heck no. Uh-uh, okay. uh-uh. But have you ever fallen asleep in your classroom at a break? <gasps> nope. I have not. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not surprised. Oh wait, what? <laughs> Sometimes fourth period prep the end of the day and you just get a little, <laughs> a little sleepy. Just a little okay. bit. Next I, question. Rare, rare question. Rare occasion. <laughs> the next question is ha never have I ever tripped and fallen on my face in class. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well I have um so if you've ever been in my class before I always make a really big deal about like make sure you put the backpacks <laughs> on the little shelf under the table um part of that is just for student safety but part of that is also I don't want to fall on my face and if I trip over your backpack I've definitely done a lot of the pinwheel before um I've never literally fallen on my face but close enough Oh, so yeah, similar situation. Um, mine is mostly with cords since I teach a digital class. And right now our cords kind of just go everywhere. And I definitely trip on them every single day. 
but not too long ago, I totally ate it and just fell hard oh, on the floor. Gosh, I know. Yeah, oh, it's always yeah. when I'm, you know, talking in front of the whole class. And oh, yeah. Everyone's staring at yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They get used to it, though. I it happens every day. <laughs> What's your question? Um, especially when you, Mrs. E, have <laughs> fallen. Have you ever accidentally whacked a student? Um, um I don't think so. I don't think I've like I don't think I've ever accidentally like I've accidentally whacked a student when I was like carrying something heavy and they walked in front of me, but like not hard or anything like that. But not when I was falling down. I've fallen on a student. Oh, I didn't did whack you? Them necessarily. I did have or a I've student. Or I've had students try to catch me or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had a student who fell on me. They were leaning forward in their chair, and I was walking behind them, and they leaned back real hard right as I walked by, and the, the foot of their chair landed on my toe, and that was horrible and awful, and that's one of the few times that I, I've yelled excessively in class because it hurts so bad Ouch. Oh. okay next question next question i'll be doing the next question which is never have i ever caught a student copying something off the internet no, it's unfortunate uh, it's so unfortunate when it happens because you know the school policy is to give them a zero and a U for the semester, and it's it's so unnecessary. It's so unnecessary. Yeah, I mean, I'm a photography class, so yeah. I've had it happen a few times. I'd say more often than not, students borrow images from each other instead mm. of the internet, but I've definitely had a few cases. Yeah. I will say the longer I teach, though, the more rare that gets. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty easy to identify, usually, too. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> All right, two more questions. Make that okay. choice, people. Mm -hmm. Next question. Okay. Never have I ever over overheard a student talking about gossip. Ugh. That is the bane of my existence. I... Every day? Ugh, I know. I really want to have a positive environment. Like, I really want my class to be the classroom where that never happens. Because, like, it's hard to, you know, take risks and make new things and try new things if you're worried about people, you know, making fun of you or gossiping about you. And that's really frustrating to me. It is. Got to shut it down. Mm-hmm. Yep. Make a rule. No more gossip. Next question. It is now my turn to get a question, which is, never have I ever dropped or lost a project. So I've never lost one, but I have a uh, broken one. So I've had a few, like it doesn't happen very often. And I always feel so bad when it happens, but it just, you know, most of the time if somebody says their project is lost, um, they just put it in a weird spot or somebody moved it and we always find it. But occasionally like, I've knocked something off with my elbow mm -hmm. on accident, or I go to pick it up and put it in the kiln and a little piece falls off or something like that. And I mean, I always tell the student and that's my fault. I always feel bad. I know. I've had a similar experience, um, mostly though in ceramics when it comes to breaking the projects, especially greenware and loading it into the kiln. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I felt really terrible my first couple of years doing that. Yeah. Not too many, yeah. but. Yeah. Enough to yeah. Make me feel real bad about it. Yeah. Luckily, kids are usually really understanding. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Last question? Yes. Last, last question. question. Ah. Will be pulled by me. Last question. I, I will pick it. Sorry. I will pick yep. it. Get out. Okay. Okay. <gasps> um, <laughs> the question is never have I ever had a student make someone else do their project. <gasps> I've had that happen. There's been a lot of I haves on this one. Yeah. I, I, you know, I generally I try to handle it with a joke and I'm like, oh, am I giving them credit for your project? You know, just to kind of be like, hey, you got to make your own stuff. You know, you have to demonstrate the skills. Yeah. You know, like that's part of the class. You got to learn the skills. And you if someone else does it, how do you get points for that? Yeah, you didn't demonstrate the skill. Yeah. I think I said this earlier, but I've had students that... You know, I mean, we do share cameras, so there is a little bit of 
a reason maybe why it happened. I <laughs> definitely had students turn in other students' work and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I usually can figure that out pretty quickly, and then they just resubmit. Yeah. With their yeah. own photos. Yeah. Yeah, they just yeah. have to show me. Yeah. yeah. That they can do the skills. All right. So I think that was our last wait, question. Wait. Oh, I, no. I have a comment. Okay. And... My best friend was doing someone else's homework because they were telling her to, and they, they're like a school bully, mm. and it was just horrible. I was like, you need to stop, and it was uh. just like, ugh. Yeah, I that's have, not cool. I have one comment. <sighs> focus. Camera. Focus. <laughs> focus. All right. Oh, well. Well, I would like to thank my special hosts, Amy and Eliza. Thank you yeah. so much for being here today. Thank you, thank Mrs. You. Petrinos, for being here today. Of course. Petrinos, thank you Ms. to Mrs. Eatington ceramic students that came up with these fabulous yes, questions. Yes, and thank you to my us. students as well. That was really fun. All right. We should Goodbye. Do it again sometime. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Hope to join you again. Yeah. Woo!